you a question? I work in the coffee shop right over there. And every day I see an incredibly wide range of people coming through this airport. You name it, I've seen it. A couple months ago, this guy walked through really crazy frizzy hair. Half was dyed green, the other half orange. Maybe it was team colors or something? I don't know, but it seemed really crazy permanent. Sometime last year, this woman gave birth to twins. Oh, and Ryan Seacrest came through here six months ago, sat in that chair right over there. <sighs> Nicest guy. Signed autographs for almost two hours. Every day it's something new, except for you. You're here every day, and people have noticed. We've been comparing notes. <laughs> Gina thinks you work for the airport spying on us, but I don't think so, because I've been watching you. I hope that doesn't sound creepy. I don't mean to be creepy. I am so not creepy. But I see you get on planes. Every time I hear them calling for the passengers to Phoenix, there you are, moving to the gate, getting on the plane. Then half an hour later, you're back sitting in your chair. Heidi thought you might be a ghost. <laughs> She's a little weird. But it's been almost two months, and you're always here. Why are you here? You've been watching me? Well, business is slow, and when someone's looking at the board trying to figure out what to order, sometimes I sneak a peek over to see if you're here. Not that I like you or anything, but you interest me. You're an interesting person. You're a mystery that I want to solve. By asking. Seemed like the easiest way. You talk a lot. I know, it's this thing when I'm nervous or excited, I start to ramble, especially when there are silences, and you're giving me a lot of silences. Why are you excited? Well, there's a mystery that's about to be solved, right? You're going to tell me, right? Please? Oh, it's driving me crazy. I need to know. Look, you seem like a nice girl, but I am not going to tell you. What? I don't want to jinx it. Oh, no, no, that's not fair. You can't do that. Look, if you tell me, I'll, I'll bring you coffee every day. Two, if you want it. If you don't, I'll just keep watching you. Not that I want to be annoying or anything, but I need to know. <sighs> Zoe. How'd you know my name? Oh, <laughs> name tag. Sorry, keep going. Look, from now on, you only get one sentence at a time, okay? Try, but... Oh. My name is Palmer. Hi, Palmer. Three months ago, I got back from Afghanistan. I was there for three years. Soldier? Yes. Wow. Was it... I... I don't want to talk about that one. I'm sorry. I came back to the small town I grew up in, Connecticut. I stayed with my mom and hung out with the guys that I knew from high school, but they were all just wasting their lives, drinking and complaining. I got tired of that really quickly. <laughs> I couldn't find a job. I couldn't find a, a life. I wasn't happy. Yeah. Then my friend Tommy from my unit called and said he could give me a job and a factory down in Phoenix where they make machine parts. I said I could crash on this couch. So I spent my last cash on a plane ticket to Phoenix. Except I had to transfer planes here, and when I got on the new plane, they announced they were overbooked. They said if anyone would give up their seat, they'd give them a ticket on a later plane, plus 500 bucks. I mean, 500 bucks, who could say no to that? Wow. So, I raised my hand. Took the deal, got off the plane, and let my duffel bag go to Phoenix without me. I called Tommy and said, I don't know when I'm gonna get there, but I let him know when I did. So the later flight comes that afternoon, and again, overbooked. And again, I take the deal. 500 bucks, plus a plane ticket on the plane the next day. I ended up sleeping in the terminal that night, which is fine. In Afghanistan, I slept in a lot worse, and at least it's warm here. So I get on the plane the next day, overbooked. Second flight, overbooked again and again and again. For the past 59 days, I've taken the deal and been bounced from the plane 118 different times. $59,000. Can you believe that? I mean, I've started a bank account through the ATM over there. That's amazing. And every day I tell myself, this is the day I don't take the deal. This is the day that I go to Phoenix. But there is nothing for me in Phoenix except a crappy job and an old couch to sleep on. 
Here I'm making a thousand dollars a day for doing nothing but reading all the books I've ever wanted to read. And sure, I could skip a day here, or even go to a motel to sleep, but I'm afraid I'd lose the magic. And then when I did get on the plane, they wouldn't make the offer. And then suddenly I'm in Phoenix, and that's something else, something unknown. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> and now you know. So you can tell Gina that I'm not spying on her, and you can tell Heidi that I'm not a ghost. Just don't tell them the real story, because I don't want to jinx it. I probably shouldn't have even told you. I'm glad you did. It's probably pretty pathetic. No, I mean, can I string some sentences together now? Sure, go for it. I wouldn't want to live in an airport, but you're saving money. And someday you'll be able to choose where you want to go. What do you want to do? What's your passion in life? What do you want to spend your life doing? I don't know. But you have time now. You can figure it out. I guess. What would you do if you were me? Me? I'm totally the wrong person to ask. I've never even been on a plane. My entire life I've lived in a house a half a mile that way, listening to the planes flying overhead. I walk to the airport, walk back home. In my whole life, I don't think I've been more than 20 miles from this spot right here. Sad, huh? No. It is, though. You're young. You'll go places. I don't think so. I didn't go to college. My job isn't that great. I don't have a car. I can't afford a car. My mother charges me rent. And every day, I see people going places or coming back from somewhere exciting. And even when they're tired, they have this glow, you know? of living a life I can only imagine. But I'm stuck, right here. So maybe it's good I came over, because <laughs> it's nice to have this weird connection with someone. Not that you're stuck, but you're here like me, day after day, and I take your stuck any night of the week. Because one day you'll be unstuck, and then you'll be gone. Oh, shoot, my break's over, I gotta get back. Thanks for letting me ramble and for telling me your story. I guess maybe I'll see you around, and until I don't. <laughs> no, no, you need to go. Get out of here, find a life. The next flight, when they offer the 500 bucks, maybe just let someone else have the deal. Take the plane to Phoenix, you don't have to stay. You can go anywhere you want, and you should. There's no good reason ever to be stuck anywhere. Zoe. I want you to take the ticket. What? Let me sign it over to you. Or whatever I have to do to put it in your name. <laughs> I can't. I'm sure you can. I have a job. Well, they must owe you vacation time. What would I do in Phoenix? It doesn't matter. The point is, you'll be somewhere else. You'll be on a plane, you'll be out of town, and then suddenly you're already a different girl. A girl with choices who can do whatever she wants. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I don't. I'll give you $5,000. What? Then you'll really have choices. So you can do whatever you want. Go wherever you want. And stay. Well, maybe not Phoenix. I hear it gets really hot <laughs> in Phoenix. But anywhere. $10,000. Stop. You need that money. I've spent barely anything in two months. Some t-shirts and underwear and a change of pants and a lot of fast food. $10,000. Plus the plane ticket out of here. Where would you go? What would you do? I don't know. It's exciting, isn't it? I'm excited. It's making me ramble. Look, I'm rambling. <laughs> but what would you do? You give me your ticket. You're unstuck now. You don't have a choice. You're right. And I have no idea what to do. <laughs> it really is exciting. Tell me it's amazing. It is. Tell me what you want to do. I want to see the ocean. I've always wanted to see the ocean. Take my shoes off, toes in the sand, toes in the surf. East coast or west coast? West coast, California. That's awesome. That's a plan. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I'm really going to do this. I'm jealous. You could come. What? Do you want to see the ocean? I don't know how to swim. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Thank you.